Hi, welcome to the screencast from Progress Software. Today we'll be looking at using SQLite database in Telerik Reporting Standalone Report Designer. My name is Lohit Gian. I work as a technical evangelist here in Progress. First up, let's take a look at what is Telerik Reporting. We're going to be looking at the Telerik Reporting official website and also how to go and then download the installer if you want to evaluate Telerik reporting uh, while going through the screencast. I will show you where to get the Telerik reporting and then uh, installation. Open up a browser of your choice and go to www.telerik.com. This is the home page for Telerik.com. If you go to the products on the right hand side you will see a product which says reporting on QA uh, and we have the link for reporting so click on reporting. So this is the official homepage for Telerik Reporting. As you can see, Telerik Reporting is all about interactive ad hoc reporting for the web, mobile and desktop application. It's basically an embed only reporting solution built on uh, .NET. So you can create the reporting in w once and then you can pretty much uh, use it anywhere. You'll be able to know the features of Telerik Reporting, why you want to choose Telerik Reporting and then what, what is included with Telerik Reporting. As you can see, everything is detailed out here uh, in the website. If you want to look at the demos, you can also click on Launch Demos and then as you can see here, this is the demo portal for Telerik Reporting. Here is a fantastic uh, dashboard kind of a report, employee sales report as you can see here. These are some of the things that you can do with Telerik reporting. Let me go pick up a sales dashboard. Uh, you know, this is connecting to Adventure Works, and then we are able to see top five performing agents, performing stores, uh, products, you know, all those things. As you can see here, there's a table, there's a uh, pie chart, and then there is a bar chart. So, this is what you can do with Telerik reporting in order to uh, start. The trial or if you want to get going along with me so you can click on this try now button and then what this does is it takes you to our download trial page and then your download should as you can see uh, the, the download has started in the interest of the time I've already set up the Telerik reporting on my machine so we're going to take a look at uh, what the installation folder contains and uh, we take it forward from there I've already gone ahead and then installed Telerik reporting on my machine at the time of this recording, we are at R3, or the release 3 of 2016. So you will see it reporting R3 2016. Inside the reporting installation folder, you will see bin. This is where all the binaries of Telerik reporting are uh, you know, laid out. And we also have the same examples uh, that you saw previously on the demo portal. We have the source code for that. So as you can see here, we have the C sharp, we have the VB version of it. Inside the C sharp, you will be able to get uh, you know, uh, the report library. This is where all the reports have been created. And ASP.NET, HTML5, MVC, Silverlight, Web Forms, Win Forms, uh, WPF. These are all the uh, client, uh, we call it as a client for Telerik reporting, meaning you develop the Telerik reports and then you can use it in any technology because we have viewers for all this technology, ASP.NET, HTML5, MVC. We have Telerik report viewers. You, you generate or you create the report once and you can view it in any technology. So if you go one level above, uh, that is to the installation folder, you will see report designer and WPF uh, tool, Silverlight, uh, all these uh, binaries that you need. And today we're going to be looking at this specific, uh, um, you know, designer that we have called, we call it a standalone report designer. So uh, if you see here, it says telerik.reportdesigner.exe. And if you're on an x86 machine, you can use the x86.exe. I'm on a Windows uh, 64, so I'm going to use telerikreportingdesigner.exe. So if you double click on Telerik report designer.exe, we will have the report designer coming up. What you are seeing here is actually the report designer opening up my previously, uh, you know, whatever report I had worked on, it is it has just opened up that particular report. So let's go back. So this is what you should see if you're installing it for the first time. And uh, you can pretty much uh, uh, go to computers, com browse, and then Inside the report designer, there's an examples folder. If you want, you can click on dashboard.trdp, open it, 
and then you will see the report uh, you know being laid out here uh, you will have to make sure that the report data sources are set up correctly uh, uh, you know as you can see here in the bottom there's a year data source there's a main data source so now we're going to be using this report designer to create a uh, report but the data source that we will be connecting to will be SQLite uh, database now that we have taken a look at Telluric reporting, next up we're going to take a look at the SQLite. So let's see what SQLite is all about. Here I open the official website of SQLite. It is SQLite.org. As per the official documentation, the SQLite is a self-contained, high reliable, embedded, full-featured, public domain SQL database engine. So the main thing here is the embedded, meaning you, this is actually a SQL database which you can embed in your applications and then you know bundle it, package it, deploy it. And uh, it is one of the most used database engine in the world. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use SQLite database and then uh, connect that to the SQL. I mean, we'll connect to SQLite database from the Telerik reporting. Next up, we're going to see how to install SQLite uh, under your machine so that you can work with SQLite. Let's head over to the download section of SQLite.org. Uh, here is where we'll figure out all the download uh, packages. I'm looking exclusively for pre-compiled binaries for .NET. They call it as system.data.sqlite. That's the ADO.NET provider that we need. Once we are inside the SQLite uh, system.data.sqlite downloads page, you will get all the release notes, uh, what are the latest packages also available. Once you scroll down, you will see a list of release packages. The packages are made available for both the bits, 32 bit as well as 64 bit, and not only that, the different .NET framework that you are targeting. In my case, I have .NET 4.6. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and then come download the full bundle here. If you don't want the certain tools, uh, like SQL Diff and all those things, you can just uh, download the just the bare bone SQLite data provider, ADO.NET provider, and uh, you can use with that. So you can install any of these EXEs. Download the EXE, or install the EXE on your machine. Once you have run the executable of system.data.sqlite, you will see uh, it will be the installation folder system.data.sqlite then 2015 and then this is where you will see the SQLite related binaries. What we are looking for is this particular folder called as bin and inside the bin here is SQLite.dll or SQLite EF6.dll, SQLite.link.dll. What I'm looking for is the system.data.sqlite DLL. Not only that, uh, as a um, one of the databases that you can use, the SQLite team has bundled Northwind database as a SQLite uh, database. So you see northwindef.db. So we're going to be using system.data.sqlite as well as northwindef.db to work together um, you know, with this Telerik reporting standalone report designer. Now let's take a look at how to set up the report designer to use SQLite database. From the bin folder of the system.data.sqlite installation folder, copy the system.data.sqlite.dll and northwindef.db and we will paste this into the report designer installation folder. I'm currently inside the report designer folder. Uh, this is this you will find this in the Telerik reporting installation folder and then here is report designer. So now what I'm going to do is paste whatever I have copied. So as you can see, I now have system.data.sqlite.dll and northwindef.db. Next, we will need to tell the Telerik report designer exe that you know it can now uh, go ahead and then uh, show SQLite as one of the data providers when we are about to create the connection strings. Open the telerik.reportdesigner.exe.config in a text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code as my text editor now. This is the configuration file for the Telerik Report Designer. What we will need to do is we'll need to go all the way till the end of this configuration and then we'll need to paste a little bit of code in order to help the Telerik Report Designer to show SQLite as one of the data providers. In order to get that piece of code, go back to your SQLite installation folder. Here's the SQLite installation folder. There's a readme.htm. Open the readme.htm 
and if you scroll a little bit down here you will see DB factory support basically uh, you need to use this for the SQLite factory and have the SQLite data provider enumerated in the DB provider factory methods in our wizard to create um, connection strings in the Telerik reporting standalone designer it uses SQLs it uses the .NET's DB provider factory method to enumerate all the available providers in order to uh, get SQLite as one of the provider we will have to paste this piece of code so copy this system.data uh, element that we have copy this and let's go back to the editor that we had opened up and just before the closing of configuration I'm gonna just paste that all it is doing is it is saying that hey there is a DB provider factory with the name SQLite data provider uh, this is the .NET framework data provider for SQLite and uh, it can be found inside system.data.sqlite.sqlite factory class in the SQL system.data.sqlite DLL or the assembly. Save this particular exe.config. Next up we will open up the uh, report designer, standalone report designer and then start designing a report. I'm going to open up the report designer by double clicking on this exe. Here's the report designer that has come up. It is showing me the last opened uh, report. I'm going to close on that. And here I'm going to go to the new uh, tab here. And then uh, there are different templates that are provided blank, band report, label report, invoice report, product catalog, uh, report wizard and then also cross tab, table wizard, graph wizard, map wizard and chloroplast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to se select the table wizard and once I select the table wizard on the right hand side it is asking me to select a place where I can store this uh, report so I'm going to click on browse and I'm currently inside report designer examples so what I will say is I will say uh, north wind or let's call it as products SQLite report.trdp so I'm going to click on save now what happens is we're going to be provided with a wizard which will help us to create this whole uh, report without we writing any code or we are, we are doing anything so first and foremost we will need to select a data source so currently there is no data source in my uh, report so I'm going to select add a new data source what is providing me now is different types of data source options and in order to connect with SQLite we will need to select SQL data source and I'm going to call this as Northwind data source and I will click OK once I click OK I will be provided with choose data connection don't worry about this first radio button it is actually looking for all the connection strings that I've already previously used but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on build new data connection and I will click on this drop down and there we see our SQLite data provider so we need this provider to be selected and we need to provide a connection string so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the connection string uh, you know here so it will be data space source is equal to north wind ef dot db the semicolon then pooling is equal to true and then fail if missing is equal to false so you will need to type this out because the uh, for the SQLite data provider the connection string is just this much there's nothing else you need to do so I'm gonna say next it is asking me what do you want to do do you want to embed the connection string or the connection itself details itself within the report or do you want to keep it as a shared connection I suggest using the shared connection what this but with this what we do is if you want to take this report inside your web application or inside your WPF application or inside your uh, you know WinForms application at that point of time you just need to create a .NET connection string uh, in a node and then enter a connection string with the same name and then the report will pick up that particular connection string and then start working so in this case I'm gonna say the alias that I need is Northwind connection string or just call it as Northwind data connection and I'm gonna say next so now it is asking me to provide a select statement so I can come back here and then say like select star from product and say next 
So here I can check if the query that I've written is uh, you know working correctly or not. So execute query button will actually go execute that particular query against the database and then bring back the data. And as we can see here, uh, we I'm getting the 77 rows from the products table. So that's good. So I'm going to click on finish. So now we just configured the data source, the main data source for our project or the report. So I'm going to go next. Now it is asking me, hey, what fields do you need in, in your uh, in a report, right? So what I will do is I'm going to surely need the product ID. I need the product name. Uh, quantity per unit, unit price, and uh, probably that is all I'm gonna. Or let's do a units in stock and then units on order also. So this is what I need for this particular report. I'm gonna click on next. Now out of the box, we provide you seven styles for the report, so you can pick any one of them, or you can always write your own style. So let's see what is Apex. Apex has this particular color. Aspect is like a gray. Civic is light blue kind of stuff. Corporate is a dark blue. Office is the office blue, and Sol styles is like a brownish. So I'm going to pick Office as my style, and then I'm going to say Next. We give you a summary as to what you have done so far. The layout type is a simple layout. The data source that you selected is Northwind data source. And then these are the different fields or the columns that you want in your report. So click on finish. And as you can see here, uh, the report has been generated for us. The, it neatly goes ahead and then puts a header and it is set product SQL light report. So what I'm going to do is, in order to make it look good, uh, I will say, I'm going to use this guy and then, you know, I will say North Wind Traders and I will set this particular font to be like a 10 and I don't need it bold. Probably we can go a little bit, let's say a 9 point. So, and then I'm going to copy this and paste it and get this just below that and I will say this is products report, right? Just to kind of give it a professional look and feel. So I'm going to do a uh, the, the nine bold and then I'm going to go 20 points. Well, I think that's uh, as far as I can go in terms of my imagination. So I'm going to just leave it to that. I'm going to get the body, um, you know, like this and I'm going to take the page number, put it on top and then I will just keep it like this. If you want, you can set a background color, uh, whatever you want to do. For example, the border color, uh, you can do a lot of uh, things with this. So I'm going to just t take uh, the table here and then kind of align this to complete stuff. Yeah, there we go. So now all I need to do is save on this one and then go to the preview. The, you see a preview button here. Click on the preview. And there we go. We have created our report connecting to SQLite. What you're seeing here is the query being executed and then the reporting engine has gone ahead, got the data, and then we had put up a table and it has gone ahead and then uh, rendered the table with the actual data from the query. Now, if you want, you can uh, go and then take a look at the print preview. As you can see here, uh, it's showing me two uh, pages or three, four pages. Uh, yeah, there are three pages uh, that this whole report will do. And uh, if you want, you can directly export it from here. We allow you to export to PDF, CSV, Excel, you name it, and it's all there. If you want, you can directly print it from here. If you want, you can do. You can also set the page size, A4, portrait, landscape. If you want to do a landscape, and there we go. So um, up to you, whichever way you want to do it. And uh, once you go the portrait landscape way, well, you can fit in more some more columns. So I'm going to bring it back to portrait for now, and there we go. So we are able to see that. Well, this uh, this is all it takes to cr create a Telerik reporting report using the standalone report designer connecting to a SQLite. I hope you uh, got the uh, idea as to how to work with SQLite and Telerik reporting uh, standalone report designer. Thank you for watching this screencast. My name is Lohit. This has been a progress screencast.